made of fresh green juice. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Say bye. Do they have beans here? <laughs> Whose idea was it to put beans in the lounge before a flight? If you eat beans before a flight, I'm judging. That's a war. Frittata. Frittata. It's very dry on the outside, but the inside is juicy. Mm. <laughs> Nothing beats the lounges in Asia. This is so cool. On my Google Pixel, there is battery share where you can charge other devices. So Wal forgot his cable on his check-in. He can use my phone to charge his that's phone. That's so cool. That's, that's a meal for a meal, dessert, and drinks. In Japan. In Japan. For this trip, we decided to fly with Japan Airlines and we thought we would treat ourselves to the premium economy cabin. At the time when we purchased our tickets, which was sometime in the summer, the difference between the price from economy to premium economy was about a $650 difference. So we paid about $1,900 for our round trip flights from LAX. And we also got the first row seats, which gave us a lot of extra legroom. About one hour after we departed from our gate, the meal service started. I always like the meal service going from America to Asia. The menu just hits different. I found that every time we come back from Asia, back into America, the menu just ain't it. Is that just me? Anyway, I love that they gave us desserts and really juicy, yummy fruits. After I ate, I just tried to kill time as best as I could. We had an afternoon flight, so I did not feel tired enough to go to sleep. So I watched some movies, ate some ramen noodles, tried to sleep again, and then we finally made it to Japan. started digging into this but it's so good mm -hmm. this is called the autumn parfait and then inside is quite a few layers i got like mochi and like a jello-y type of thing um this mousse on top tastes like maybe genmai cha there's like little rice crisps inside and then this is um a green tea noodle they give you these two dipping sauces, or sorry, just one actually, that Wall added in here, and it just really enhances the flavor. Just got our food, and Wall and I are sharing, so we got this set here that has the pork cutlet, shrimp, um, and then we got a side of the soy milk croquettes that has salmon inside I believe, and the set comes with rice and a miso. <laughs> These pieces of furniture are so nice. Oh my goodness, what a cute breakfast. We are sitting right in front of the train station. It's a cute little cafe. 
Presentation is so cute. This one was crazy. <laughs> so intense. Yeah, they don't let you bring um, any like phones or anything loose on most of the rides, so I couldn't record any of it. But oh my god, that one was so scary. <laughs> Somebody's Here is a mango pudding dinosaur egg. So cute. Looks like there's some sort of chocolate, some sort of puree, and the mango pudding on the bottom. I like the mango pudding, but I don't like the stuff on top. I was expecting more like mango pudding. Yeah, yeah. This is a nice snack. <laughs> Healthy snack. Very healthy snack. How much was this again? It was like uh, one like, one thousand yen. Yeah. What is that? Is that like ten dollars? Oh, like or like 8 about 50? eight Airbnb has an elevator, guys. It makes moving luggage up and down so seamless and easy. Like, look at that. Now I'm downstairs. Amazing. hotel in Shibuya city. Wait, Shin, Shin, Shinjuku. I think it's Shinjuku. It's called Hotel Sen and it's in a pretty good location. We were about five minute walk away from the train station. The hotel is really nice and clean. It's really small but it has everything you need. Let me give you a quick room tour. That's our entrance and right over here there's a step up into the bathroom which I thought was a really good use of space and when you're in there it actually doesn't feel so small. And then there's the shower, really good water pressure. When you come out this is the sink area, a little desk which is nice. Really good use of space. Even underneath the bed there's storage so we tucked in all of our luggages down there and this is maybe a full-size bed and over here we have a little rack so we can hang up some of our clothes they even provided a mini fridge i love the industrial look it's very simple minimal and it's comfortable by the way every time we travel i like to really underpack because i don't want to lug around too much stuff so i've been wearing this outfit almost every single day you might be thinking girl hasn't been the same day but it has not been we've been wearing the same outfit every day okay and bless our airbnb for having laundry so we've been able to wash our clothes so don't worry this jacket is from uniqlo my Peace and Quiet shirt is from the brand Museum of Peace and Quiet. My jeans are at Love Bonito. And then my shoes are New Balances. I think these are the, oh, 2002 are. 
These are super comfortable. I wore them last year for our Korea trip and I brought them again for this trip. Favorite part about Asia is just walking around and seeing all the city lights. So we're in a department store that has all outdoor clothing and gear. It's called Alpen in Tokyo. Hopefully we find some cool stuff. Just love how everything is curated in Asia. garlic shrimp curry green curry oh. and they have chicken paella someone told me that i pronounced paella wrong in my last video did i they got chicken seafood squid ink oh oh these are like little little cans is this like pork belly this looks like a pork belly oh my gosh is this pie what I love this. Oh, maybe it's for your coffee filter. Oh yeah, maybe it's a coffee pot. Vintage Cool. I have been following the shop for a few years now and I'm so happy you're finally here. They have vintage um, designer pieces, so we'll see if we find anything. Very cute so far. ice cream with donuts. Perfect for a girl on her period. <laughs> they are known for their chicken katsu. This is the chicken katsu that looks like fried chicken. Chick it's basically tenders. fried chicken. <laughs> yes, chicken tenders. And that is a crab croquette. Crab croquette. Okay. Mm-hmm. Itadakimasu. Michael. Tell me you're eating with Asians without telling me you're <laughs> eating with Asians. Why are we conditioned to be like this? This is unacceptable. So do we so do we rock paper scissors now? 
Let's go. We can speak one each. <laughs>